Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Praetorian, and welcome back to Hearts Round 4, as we are playing as Germany. So, in today's episode, we're going to be continuing the invasion of the Soviet Union, and we should also be starting the, the war with France here. I think it's in August. Or not August, April, excuse me. Uh, yeah, April 28th. All right, excellent. So, we'll be invading them as well. Uh, somebody asked about all the little battles that are happening in the French territory. That's because the Americans and maybe some of our other allies as well, and it looks like several of our allies, had military access to French territory. So they have their troops in French territory, but they're at war with France's allies. So they, they're able to, to fight like the Soviets here uh, in French territory. They just can't take French territory. Uh, so kind of a weird situation here that kind of that started because of the fact that uh, we shared a uh, enemy with the, the fascists. You know, we were... Uh, both us and the common term were enemies of the fascists, and so that's the reason why they're granting military access to us. You could tell that the common term was very much interested in you know trying to stay at peace with us for good reason, because you see we are we're stomping all over them. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and jump into the episode by spending our military experience. Uh, I do hope you guys had a fantastic weekend. Mine was pretty good overall. So we're going to start by adding the field hospitals in here, because we don't have field hospitals, and this is the main unit that we're utilizing. So we could save a lot of manpower and also make sure that we don't lose as much experience. So yeah, let's go ahead and, and uh, put the field hospitals into this unit here. And we still needed another uh, a fifth support company, but I, I would like to make some adjustments to our medium tanks before we go about doing that, because there's a lot of stuff still here left to do. So mechanized needs to be added to these, and then we also need to add the medium self-propelled self artillery. Let's see which one we're like most short on. We have 573 on the mechanized, the medium self-propelled artillery 208. All right, so that's the one we'll we'll change then. We'll go ahead and do the uh, mechanized here. Uh, right there, there we go. So we'll be able to change, you know, we, we actually can make a few changes here. So this is what we'll do, T two mechanized, so we have one motorized left to change, and then we'll do the medium self-propelled artillery. All right, excellent. Uh, actually, we could do one more. I didn't realize that. All right, well, we can get rid of all the motorized here then. All right, let's go ahead and do that. So, obviously, we're going to be very, very short on the mechanized. Also, it's not typically a good idea to, to make division changes when you're in, in uh, war, or at least doing battles, because it does reduce their organization. Uh, so that will affect all those troops. I think we're fine. I wasn't too worried about it. All right, so let's go ahead and continue this, this conflict over here where we're trying to... You know, get all these guys wrapped up and destroyed. Uh, this guy, he can go over this line. I'm not sure where he's moving to. Let's stop the madness. Let's go and attack. You know, we'll attack with this guy. Kind of help out. So we're having some difficulty there. Still trying to wrap this up here. Uh, looks like that is done. Excellent. We don't need both of these divisions to do that. So let's go ahead and take this guy and bring him over here. It's a, a very, very wide front, guys. Obviously. <laughs> Quite a wide front. All right, let's go ahead and push forward here, and this tank unit's going through here. Still need to liberate this guy, this one tank unit that's been cut off. Let's go ahead and grab this province so that he can connect himself, uh, since we should win that battle there. Uh, this guy got cut off as well, but we're making uh, efforts to, to get him reconnected. Though I don't think he's actually cut off because we have a port. Oh, France got called in the conflict, so we no longer need to, to do this here, although it might have just canceled it on its own. So France is now in the conflict, uh, which is good, because I didn't know if they were ever going to join. Uh, it, you know, we had something set up to, to deal with that. Let's go ahead and get all of our troops moving. Uh, so now things are going to move a lot slower, guys, because we're controlling two different fronts. So things are going to be kind of slow. That's all right. Uh, so let's go ahead and... Hmm. When's he get there? One day and one hour. Let's see if we can't get there first. Yeah, we can get there first. So we'll just move all these units over here. And I was planning on moving tanks, and uh, I didn't. We didn't get it done in time. All right, so we'll move him over here. I'm going to try and avoid attacking across the mountains, and let's just push here and cut all these troops off. I think that would be the best way to go about doing this. So let's go and attack into Genoa. And we won't be able to unpause it just yet, because we got to make moves here first. So we're going to try and cut off these troops in, in Dunkirk. Not, not cut off from supply, but cut off from being able to, uh, to do anything here. Be able to move onto this line here. Uh, I guess this guy will need to stay here. We'll instead move these troops. And so we have these tanks here, which their purpose is going to go after is to go after Paris. That's what we're going to have them do. 
just push forward really rapidly and take this territory before somebody else gets here to stop us. All right, I'll move this guy over here. And I mean, we could just cut this unit off here rather than fighting the fort. It's like the only unit on the line, so there's really no point on, uh, you know, attacking there. Let's just avoid such madness. And let's get control of the forts all along here while we can. With, uh, I don't know how to fight anybody. Yeah, that's nice. All right, excellent, because that's really difficult to go across the Maginot Line when it's defended. You don't even need that many troops. Does France have any ships? You'd assume they wouldn't, considering, yeah, that they've been at war with the British for a while. Okay, uh, so there's also, uh, you know, Mexico has one unit here, so he'll be able to just kind of move and, and take territory. Oh, that's interesting. All right, um, let's see if there's any other units here. We got uh, a Dutch unit right here, so he'll be able to get some territory. It wasn't it wasn't very smart of them to to grant military access to the units of uh, a potential enemy. That's kind of silly, honestly. All right, so we should be able to get that. Uh, all this is looking good as well. So let's go and dip back over to here. Again, it's going to be very slow while we control both of these fronts. That's okay. Uh, let's go ahead and attack over here now. That should be easy. Uh, we'll move over here, make sure they don't get a port. I don't know why somebody moved off of that. It's not unable to do anything with those tanks. They're just kind of stuck defending for right now. Uh, and we did win here. Let's not have them go back. They always try and do that. And let's go ahead and shoot up this way. Oops. Over here. And the Americans want to give us support equipment. We'll accept that. Uh, looks like we're probably pretty short because of those adjustments we just made to our division designs. All right, just make sure that these units continue pushing forward. We're going to even attack there, even though we'll probably lose, but that's fine. We did win there. Excellent. So that's good news. Not sure where all these units are going. I'm guessing they're moving to another front. Let's try and get a win here. And then with this unit, we have thickened this up a bit. Let's go ahead and, and move to this province here. See if we can't get there before this unit. Uh, eight hours compared to ten hours. Ah, so yeah, we're just not able to get there. Okay, what we're going to do is let's have this unit move in here so that we can both fight this guy uh, when he gets there and quickly defeat him. He doesn't have very high organization. Another attack across the river there, but I think that's fine. Uh, we do have some military factories that we probably seized from... Probably from the, from the French, actually. No, because that went into Belgian hands. And that's kind of unfortunate that all the regression that we do up here will go into Belgian hands. Uh, but maybe they'll give some of it back to us. All right, let's go and get these factories assigned just based on what we're needing the most now, which is probably going to be mechanized. It seems we need a lot of uh, medium tanks as well. Now, we do actually have quite a bit going into that. So, you know what? Let's, let's do one more, though. And, yeah, I think mechanized is probably what we're going to want to put factories into here. Let's go into uh, 15 factories into mechanized. We do have more steel, so we can pull back production there a bit, but rubber is going to continue to be an issue, guys. Yeah, it's kind of a shame, but uh, we're slowly getting it fixed. We're at negative eight right now, uh, and we do have a method for fixing that, and that would be to change up our trade laws. So these tanks are just so damn quick. Look at how fast we moved here. This is like a day since we went to war with them, and like we already have all this territory. It's incredible. Uh, but we do need to figure out how to get these guys defeated. There's a lot of units there. Five units should be able to take care of it. So if this guy's assigned here, yeah, we'll make sure he pushes there. And let's hurry up and get across here. And yeah, these units just moved really quick. Uh, I'm surprised by how quick they moved, actually. And then we're going to have this guy go up this way, go to Paris, and then he will attack him as soon as he's done there. Yeah, just look at how fast these tanks are, man. Yeah, they're so rapid. That's nice. That's fantastic. All right, so let's go and push forward there and here. I mean, I guess even our infantry are moving pretty quick. Was it the 28th or where we at war with the 30th? Is this all progress in one day? Seems like it. Uh, so we've already taken Genoa, so we're going to need to move slower. In fact, let's slow this down a bit because we're missing opportunities here. Let's go up this way, I think, and try and cut off all these troops here that are on the, the borders. And if there's nobody defending, then yeah, there's really no reason not to, to take the territory. Yeah, there's like nobody here. Okay, so he's going up this way. So we'll have him go here. Him take that province. This guy's gonna go here. 
and then have a couple of these divisions go up to Milan. Again, just trying to avoid fighting troops in the mountains if we can. So yeah, this is going to be uh, very slow going with us manually controlling them, but I don't want to give the AI control because, I mean, good god, they're terrible. So let's not do that. Uh, just make sure everybody's uh, fighting over here. And yeah, you know, this tank unit's going somewhere else. Let's have him go grab this here while he's going to continue going over this way. Yeah, you know, just kind of making sure units are all moving and that nobody's sitting around not doing anything. All right, he's taking that and that'll connect them again. Excellent. And he's still moving over here. He'll be there in five hours. Okay. And hopefully about will be defeat him. I don't know. That tank doesn't have any supply, so we'll have to see. So yeah, we have eight units cut off here. We wouldn't be able to win just yet uh, with three units. Probably not. I mean, we could try and see if that's a win. Eh, not quite. But maybe we'll push some of them back. I guess we'll see. All right, so this unit's moving over here. Well, he's going up to grab these provinces this way. We'll have him go grab this province, I suppose. And then go straight into Paris. All right, let's hurry up and get across the river here. And just making sure all these units are, are pushing forward here. All right, looking good. Yeah, our units are just really, really fast, remarkably fast, which is nice. Uh, just make sure we're not looking at any invasions. Uh, there's an invasion happening here, that province that just got taken. Yeah, but very, very bad idea for them to give us access there. It was not wise on their part. Basically, like, let it play a few hours and then we gotta move. Uh, we gotta get all of our units moving again. Because we have so many under our control. This goes a lot slower when you have a uh, two fronts. But I always like the, the manual control of the units. I just find it really fun. It's just a superior way of playing, in my opinion. Just a bit funner. All right, so we are attacking here successfully. Excellent. Uh, but this unit is likely to get there to support, so we'll have to see how that ends up going. Uh, but this should connect these guys here and then cut off all the units here. So at the very least, they'll be cut off, and then our allies here can take care of all this. Although I'm not entirely sure why he's going over this way. Um, clearly, we have a bunch of units that are not doing what I want them to do. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, we don't want to go over there. Let's just connect it here. It's just silly. Uh, let me make sure there's no more units here. Uh, there is. There's one more. Uh, so we have to wait until he finishes up his battle. So we'll probably take the railroads and then lose all his organization, unfortunately. Uh, I'm noticing oil is definitely an issue, guys. There's really not much to be done about it. We also have to move our planes over here. Because, yeah, we don't have any planes helping us out. All right, let's see how we might want to go about doing this. Uh, we can take these fighters here and move them. Just to get some fighters in northern France. And then maybe move some from over here if we have any that have a... Uh, yeah, I mean, I guess you don't. Yeah, there's none. Uh, I suppose we can move some of the close air support out. Yeah, we can move some close air support out uh, over to there. So let's move these guys. So they can kind of help us out. All right, excellent. So everybody should be moving forward. All right, so he's going that way. Uh, these guys are not pushing forward, so let's go to make sure they do that. Again, nobody should be sitting still for very long. That's the idea here. All right, so let's let it play a few hours, and then we'll kind of dip around and make sure all of our units move again. So yeah, the, the Leningrad situation is ugly. And yeah, it's just kind of uh, very odd as well. Kind of odd situation here. You know what, let's unthicken this up rather than what I was going to do, because it looks like they're going to try and uh, reconnect that, which is not desirable. All right, let's go and start pushing forward. Uh, so those guys are going that way, so we'll have this guy go here. Same with him. Uh, still defending there, and they're still trying to send troops into that, that port. I don't know why they didn't just switch them over to the Leningrad port. Probably be smarter. And it looks like we have one here as well, so you know what? Let's just take these troops and get them going over to this front, where we uh, clearly don't have enough divisions to cover the entire front. And we did push forward there, and thus these guys are all cut off from supply. So that's good. Let's attack here. Oops, god damn it. I grabbed the wrong unit, guys. Alright, that guy's too weak anyway, so we'll just wait. 
All right, so let's go and dip back on over here. So technically we have three fronts if you count this this front here. And let's go grab these mountains while they're undefended. All right, so these guys are all pushing forward here. And again, just trying to cut them off so we don't have to fight them. And let as many troops go that way as they want because we'll just uh, get them cut off here. I guess you don't have to go that way. You can go this way and then here. Yeah, that'll work out fine. All right, again, just making sure all of our units are moving. Yeah, I see some of these units are just kind of sitting around here. Let's go and push forward here. And I'm going to try and attack Paris now. We might have failed in a previous attack. I don't know. And we are failing here as well. Uh, but we're going to keep it going for right now. That might end up changing. You never know. All right, so still trying to wrap up many of these pockets here. All right, so again, just give it a little bit of time. And then we'll move the units again. We'll move any units we see sitting around or units doing silly things like that. Taking off when we don't want them to. So let's have him go. So he's coming up this way, so let's have him connect with that unit. And again, just need like infantry to come kind of wrap up some of these areas here. Uh, but the tanks are going to keep pushing forward. I don't see any reason to stop them. And if we can beat this guy, we will. You know, if we can beat him across the river here. Eight hours. Uh, we do have a unit moving in six. Okay, so we don't want to do that. Let's attack there then. Yeah, might be able to win. We have really low organization. So some of these are kind of difficult. All right. Uh, so units still moving here, making progress, defending there. So can't really do anything. Uh, let's have this unit come over here. And I think we have one going. Yeah, we have one going there. Let's send one right across that way then. And the fact that there's all these units here is not really an issue. Because they're going to be cut off, hopefully soon. If this tank unit can get that, that province there, we should be able to get them cut off. So France should be pretty easy, as they typically are. Uh, they're not usually a, a difficult fight. I don't, I don't know that we've had a difficult fight with France. Maybe. Maybe I'm just... Uh, not giving him any credit. Maybe once or twice we might have had a difficult fight with him, but I can't recall any challenging encounters with France and Hoi Four. They're usually pretty easy, which is nice. Because that means we'll be able to get that front wrapped up, but I guess the front won't be entirely wrapped up because then you have the Spanish one. Uh, but I think the point is, is that you're reducing two fronts here to one front, so that'd be helpful. That one with Spain. All right, so let's go ahead and push for, you know, we're going to attack those guys, actually. And we're going to attack them as well. Just lock those units down. And then we're going to go ahead and start moving up along the coast. And this guy's going to just continue moving along the coast as well. Grabbing those victory points. And then we'll have this guy get this province here. Did we get Paris? We have not gotten Paris just yet. Uh, we're going to attack across that river right here. Because that unit's really weak. So we should be able to win, you'd think. It would be very, very easy for them to cut off our units here. So let's hope they don't. And it looks like we are winning that attack in Leningrad. All right, excellent. I didn't think we'd be able to win it because across the river. Uh, this guy, as soon as he gets over to this province, we'll just have an attack up that way. Again, got to kind of start filling this in a little bit because it's uh, getting messy. Uh, but the Soviet front is, is always fairly messy, honestly. All right, let's go to this province here. Uh, we have not yet reconnected them here, so let's go ahead and have that guy attack. This one's a little bit too weak to do it just yet. All right, let's go and just start cleaning this up some. All right, so he's moving over to that province. Excellent. And we did win here, so that's good news. Uh, again, just go and continue thickening, thickening this up, giving this front a little bit of girth so that when they take provinces here, they don't reconnect it. Uh, though taking that one would give them the air base, unfortunately. Maybe we'll try and stop them, see if that unit can get there and stop them in time. All right, uh, still winning over here. Or, or I said should say we are winning over here because I don't think we were winning before. So that's good news, and looks like he was also successful there. All right, beautiful. Uh, let's go ahead and get more units going across here, and up over here. Surprised with our lack of red units on, on this side here. Uh, they must not have moved, completely moved over there yet. So we're just about successful on cutting all the units off over here. We could, we've also taken Milan, so... Could go and have this unit come over here instead. Oops. Oh, he was going there. Oops, my bad. Doesn't look like we lost any progress, though. 
All right, yeah, this is looking good. Let's go ahead and dip back over to that Soviet front. See how things are going here. Maybe let it play a couple hours. We're on April first now, April Fool's Day. All right, let's go and push forward here. Kind of help them out. And these guys can finally. Oh, not the cancer lend lease. These guys can finally push forward there. They've been defending this whole time. And I guess they're still technically defending now. And you know what? I think we have enough units to get this done. So let's go and get these guys moving over here. Uh, actually, we're going to need a front here. Although we might have a front here. And I just can't see it. Because I gave them an order. And I think it's behind that. Alright, more military factories that we've seized. I really want to put it in the planes. But the problem is the, uh, the rubber. The rubber is an issue. And so we might want to do stuff that doesn't require too much rubber. Uh, we're good on the motorized, which we should be getting a lot of the motorized from uh, the mechanized filling them in there. But this also requires rubber, so it is a problem. All right, let's see how things are going. I'm sure we're short on quite a few things now. Uh, Anti tanks, uh, all the tank stuff, basically. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a peek and see where we might want to move these. We got a lot towards light tanks. What about the anti tanks? Let's put some towards that uh, because we do need quite a few of those. Uh, in fact, we'll go ahead and put one more into there. And we get some more uh, support equipment as well. And just trying to avoid doing anything that costs rubber here. Let's do the uh, the medium tanks. All right, so yeah, we, we're just having trouble getting all the the supplies from Brazil because of the uh, naval route efficiency being a bit low. That should improve in time. Uh, I'm surprised that the uh, I guess they don't have as much supplies for us. Okay. All right, nothing to, to go with here, so we're going to trade with the United States to get the steel we need. I'm actually also surprised that we need steel. Okay, it seems like that was something just need to be updated, perhaps. All right, I'm not entirely sure what's going on there. All right, there we go. Looks like it's fixed now. All right, so let's going to grab these goodies here. Uh, Harris has not been taken, but it is cut off. A lot of French troops have come up to this border now. They should be able to reconnect it, actually, unless we can get that unit over there. We'll try. But, yeah, the French are back over to this front. Uh, so, yeah, you can see that there's a lot more French troops coming down. Not entirely sure where they're all coming from. Uh, but, yeah, they're coming from somewhere. All right, so let's go this way. Just trying to get through these mountains as rapidly as we can so we don't get stalled on them because they got forts. And they can be... Uh, you know, this area here can be kind of difficult to get through sometimes with the mountains and the forts. So let's not get stuck on them. Uh, the Green Army... Okay, so this guy might want to try and move after we get him over here. We'll try and attack one of these two provinces anywhere to try and cut those units off. Alright, let's go back to the Soviet front now. See how things are going here. Alright, so we're still winning there. Still winning Leningrad. Still getting that territory. Alright, but lots of units kind of sitting around not doing anything. So let's go ahead and correct that. I almost want to fill some of this in with this tank unit. I feel like we're pushing forward a little bit, probably a little bit too rapidly. We don't want to get uh, all those units reconnected. Alright, let's go ahead and go this way now. And probably cut down this way. Yeah, that might be wise. Go down this way. Try and get uh, Kiev cut off. Unless we push down south with that unit. You might even be able to connect with this guy here. All right, so we were able to get there, and looks like we may have, may have defeated him. I think so. I think he's retreating right now. All right, let's go and attack here. Kind of cut these guys off. All right, French Syria has joined. It's not a problem. Let's have him come over here. Anyhow, these units got to get back over to this front, and it looks like they just keep on moving over here. Good God. Okay, now it's like two separate fronts. Okay, I see. I see what's going on now. All right, well, let's make sure that these guys come to this front, then. So we can try and get that wrapped up. Again, just avoiding attacking units when we can. Let's actually send this guy over to here. He's already assigned to that front. He just needs to, to get moving. All right, so he's going to come over there. He could go after that key victory point, but we're about to lose this province here, which would reconnect the units in Paris, so that would not be good. Uh, we got more military factories. We're using so much fuel, guys. We might need to trade for more. I don't know how many civilian factories we still have building right now, but yeah, it seems like we might be having some some issues there. Uh, let's go with more. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, we have a lot. Uh, in fact, we need to get some more stuff building. 
All right, so let's go ahead and go with the uh, support equipment. You can see we are short there on that. Uh, and let's pull back production, or excuse me, pull back trading for some of the steel here. And then give one of those factories off to the, uh, we'll do one to, switch, uh, to uh, Sweden. Make up for the factories you just took from. And then we need to uh, build some stuff. Uh, so I think we're gonna get more synthetic refineries. Uh, we are doing the same on the rubber despite having just built uh, some of those. I wasn't saying we're doing better, but clearly we're not. So yeah, I need the synthetic refineries. This is also helping with the, the fuel issues as well, guys. Uh, we'll take a look if there's any infrastructure. I don't think so, though. Yeah, probably not. There's not really that many resources over here to warrant. I suppose there's that one. We can build that up, get the steel from there. And that'll help since we are having to trade for steel. Again, once we get the political power, we'll be able to change up the trade laws. All right, just make sure all these units are still moving. We are able to now defend that, that we have the, the two tanks there. That was enough, or at least for right now, it's enough. We're having to attack into a mountain unit there. That's probably not the best way to do this, but yeah, I don't know. We'll keep it going for right now. We'll see if it, it changes at all. Still got a lot of like provinces that gotta get wrapped up here. These little pockets that we've we've created. We need to get them fixed. Uh, let's go and attack here now. And that guy's already set to attack. That one uh, unit didn't have enough organization when we first looked at that. So we didn't give him any orders. And we continue to sink those troop convoys that we're trying to get into the, uh, the port here. We also stopped them there. Uh, so that's excellent. Let's just weaken them further. And it looks like this here is going well. So we can go and pull off some of the units. Because I don't think that this is uh, necessary to have this many divisions. Though, maybe, I don't know, there's a lot over here. Yeah, so we might want to, to give them some more, more help here. Yeah, you see that we are, we're going to have to pull this back, actually. And probably don't want to pull both of these guys back. Or uh, bo send both of them over there. But I guess if they keep on retreating there, then we'll have to. All right, we should have them all bottled up into one province very, very soon. All right, some more little pockets here to get finished up. And you know what? Let's have one of these guys, again, just start kind of clearing this. Let's send this guy over here and let's see how the tank's doing. He's almost done with his order. Uh, so let's go ahead and have him continue down south, grabbing up victory points and, uh, most importantly, Soviet factories really helpful getting those all grabbed up uh, looks like we're attacking there that's probably not the best way to do that I, mean, I know we're gonna we're gonna win there but I think there's there's better ways to do this he just will not stop the attack I'm like pressing everything H is normally how you tell somebody to stop that's not working we we'll after Kiev instead all right so we won there let's go and uh, hmm I guess we'll go over here and, and try and get across the river uh, this guy's here let's have him start pushing forward this way, or at least, you know, we don't really want to leave that unit there. So let's go here and then we'll attack here, trying to get him wrapped up. Uh, you see that they're, they're trying to, to connect this again. I don't think they have any supplies except for local supply, but you see they're not taking attrition, so there's clearly local supplies enough, or they're uh, still at the 72 hours. Almost have those two units done. We'll let them continue training. Uh, we've taken Dunkirk. It's interesting that Dunkirk is where the units were. Uh, that we've surrounded them there and, and pushed them back into the sea. So that was helpful. This will bring us uh, three more units pushing forward here. Alright, so these units were successful here. Let's have one go over here while the other one attacks just to lock them down. So that this unit can get here. Let's go and push forward here as well. And again, we did cut off a lot of troops here, so that's good. That's fantastic, actually. Let's go ahead and have these units all start an attack here. Can they get... Yeah, we might have to send a few other units to attack right there. All right, so these guys are all cut off, so that's fantastic news. Let's go ahead and have him help, even if it is across the river. Well, this guy's going to thicken this up a bit. Give it some beautiful girth. All right, so those units in Paris are still not destroyed just yet. And let's have this guy see where we want to move him. You know what? Let's go ahead and assist with this. That's a lot of units. And the quicker we do it, the better. Let's lock those units down. 
Maybe even defeat him. Yeah, it looks like we would defeat him. Still trying to get the win here. Almost there, though. Uh, so that's looking good. These guys are advancing beautifully. Let's go and attack right there in that cab unit. And he should be going this way. So let's make that happen. And this is going to cut off all these guys up here from the rest of the, the currently cut off divisions. How are we doing on Leningrad? Uh, we're doing good. We're getting there. Let's have him go over there next after he finishes up that defense. And uh, still engaging all these these uh, troop convoys. So it's uh, helping. Probably killing a lot of troops out there. Uh, we were able to defend that there. Excellent. Uh, still don't have Parrish yet though. So that's going to be uh, necessary. Get that taken. And we did lose that. I thought we might. Alright, it was fine. He advanced a little bit. And that means he'll likely get cut off. Uh, so now we can wrap this territory up. So let's go ahead and go about doing this. Get these guys destroyed. And just push him forward all throughout here. Then we'll get those guys destroyed. This tank was successful as well. Let's go ahead and push forward here. And we're going to have this tank go up this way. After he uh, finishes up on that defense. Yeah, looking nice. I almost want to really kind of concentrate on this front. Just because, you know, once... All right, we've taken Paris, by the way. And let's have these guys go help out here. But once we've uh, knocked France out, that front is just going to be much easier overall. How many Spanish troops are here? I'm not seeing any Spanish troops. So I don't know what they're going to have defending their territory. Uh, but they didn't have any enemies that neighbored them. So they might have sent a lot of their troops off. Let's see if those units are done training yet. Almost. I think they're at 90, 98%. That guy, other guy's at 96. Alright, so still went in here. We haven't looked at this front for a little while, so... Spend a little, little bit of time to make sure that everybody's working. Alright, so let's go and attack here with everything we got to get this finished up. And this guy's gonna have to wait, clearly. He doesn't have any organization. And... You know what? Actually, let's go and attack that unit. Alright, so with this guy, let's just get over here, I suppose. We'll go over this way. Again, as you can see, I just kind of avoid fights. I avoid fights, cut the units off. And this is typically uh, very effective against the Soviets. It works quite well. All right, so let's go move over here and get this connected to make sure these guys are all cut off. Uh, yeah, they should all be cut off here, as long as they don't reconnect it here, which looks like they're going to do. All right, so that's a shame, but at the very least, we want to get our tank uh, back connected here. And you know, when you create these really snaky lines here, that uh, that does happen quite a bit. Uh, they'll reconnect it. Though sometimes the AI just sits there and doesn't do anything and lets you cut them off because it's the AI. So sometimes it works out quite well. Uh, so we don't need any other units assigned to this. Let's make sure anybody who is goes to this front here. Uh, we're going to have to help them out there. And then just the one unit here can take care of this. And I think we will. We could go and take more territory, but there are some victory points here, including their, their current capital worth 20 victory points. So let's go ahead and grab all this up, guys. Let's go for the ports first so nobody else can come through here. We'll just wrap this up with this tank in it here. And then he'll be the one that will go through here. And yeah, just looking for some openings here. We'll have uh, these guys go this way. And they'll attack right there. And is there a fort here? There's not. So let's go ahead and send one unit into there. Kind of help them out. Help that defense out. And we'll have this guy go over here. Make sure we get those four units destroyed. All right, looking good. And he's going to grab that victory point for us. All right, so let's take a look at this front, see how things are going. I'll have him go all the way up that way. And, yeah, he's already set to, to grab that victory point for us. All right, beautiful. Let's let it play a few days. And look at this. This is just a mess, man. An absolute mess here. So, yeah, just trying to wrap these divisions up. You know, I don't think he'll ever be done in time, so let's just get him moving across there. And you know what? I think we're going to need to send another tank unit over here. Because this is just taking too long to get Leningrad taken. So let's uh, give that guy a little bit of help. He is attacking across the river, so to be fair. It's a difficult fight. 
All right, so this guy's wrapping this up here. Uh, let's bring this guy over to here. And he's already set to, to take territory. Excellent. All right, so we did win there. And Kiev was taken, but we'll probably be taken back, I would assume. Because this is just the snaky uh, frontier. Uh, so we have two units set to do that, so somebody will get it done, you'd expect. And I love to attack here with these guys, so let's keep them here. That loud uh, snap was my, my water bottle popping. Huh. Where are all the green units sent to? Which front? These ones, I suppose? Yeah, it looks like they're probably sent to these ones. That guy's almost moving, so let's have him man this. Same thing with this guy. We'll actually push forward there as well. And let's go ahead and take that territory while well, he'll attack over here. Alright, so he's advancing up this way. Let's go ahead and take these real quick. This guy should be going. Yeah, he's going all through there. Excellent. And then let's go ahead and start attacking over here now. Just try and clean these up. Because, again, it's pretty messy. Pretty messy, guys. And we'll go ahead and take that province real quick. But yeah, just not uh, well manned, our fronts. Our fronts are not well manned at all. all. All across all three fronts, I guess the, the purple front there in Northern Italy is, is currently fine. Uh, but all the rest of them are just not uh, looking good. Still need to wrap this pocket up here, and there's really nobody to do it. So we'll just let them weaken us, I suppose, or weaken themselves against us. And I think this tank unit's gone. Okay, yeah, he'll come this way then. Because remember, this is about to be uh, reconnected here. All right. All right, so now that we actually have some units over here, let's get a, across there and, and get some of this territory taken. And just don't want any units sitting around not doing anything at any point. Let's make sure they're always moving. That's what we're looking for, is units not, not moving. I had some people ask, like, how you manually control the divisions. Like, where do you assign to go and stuff? I, I kind of feel like you, you, just, you just learn how to do it as you as you play you know what's the the best way to to go about doing it we might need to put another i know we're, we're short on the rubber guys but we have uh continually had problems getting the uh the tactical bombers out there and a big part of that is because of the, the rubber shortages but we just can't uh trade for it we just don't have enough not getting anything from sweden here so that's where that that tungsten problem is being caused i'm actually surprised oh okay i think they're changing up their trade laws or something because yeah they just don't have anything to uh to trade don't trade with the Americans instead. In fact, I think we need... Oh, no, we're good. All right, excellent. So again, kind of focusing on this, but this guy is leaving. We don't want that. Damn it. Right, yeah, let's bring him back over here and see if he can't get some territory taken. Now, the French are not democratic, uh, so that is the reason why they're still fighting. Why they haven't capitulated it. Typically, France would have capitulated with just this little bit of territory taken. Take Paris, and they're just about done for. Uh, but they're not democratic, so that means they, they don't have that one modifier uh, that makes them quicker to capitulate. All right, let's try and get this wrapped up here. And let's just send these guys in here as well. Let's try and get this done. All right, excellent. Let's go and dip back over to the Soviet front. Still trying to get those troops wrapped up. Take a little while. Luckily, the Soviet troops are being overall fairly passive. Some of them are pushing forward. Most of them, not so much. Actually, you know what? This guy's going to need help. Let's get this thickened up, because again, this guy here is going to get himself cut off. All right, so almost have this connected, and in fact, we have two units that are doing it. Uh, we'll just let whoever do it, uh, whoever gets there first. This is going to create more issues with the front line, of course. We'll make adjustments as, as needed. Uh, let's see how we want to do this. We can attack that guy. Kind of help out. I don't know how well he'll do on that attack. Probably not well. Uh, it's green. Wasn't sure. He is cut off, so you have that advantage. All right, so those guys should be all moving different locations. Hopefully it's a smart location. Got another uh, Soviet convoy destroyed. You notice we haven't been engaged in the British fleet at all anymore. Uh, nothing's really happening on that front. Alright, just looking for units sitting around, not doing nothing. Have this guy come on over to here, and we still gotta get this wrapped up, so let's start pushing forward here. 
and just, let's take this guy and have him come over to this front. Same with him. And somebody needs to get that done. Looks like we already have somebody. Excellent. So let's have uh, this unit come over to this front as well. And then uh, whoever... Yeah, the green tank here. Let's put him over here and just delete this front. All right, beautiful. Just kind of cleaning things up. Putting out fires here. Making things look nice. All right, so slowly getting this ramped up here. And it's actually looking pretty darn good. Let's see if there's any units here that could be moved over to this front. Yeah, I feel like if there's any units here that aren't already moving, then they could probably just go ahead and move over to this front. So we start pushing forward there. Uh, let's go and attack those units, get them wiped out. Stop harassing my tanks, man. And I'm not sure why they're not coming over to this front here. But yeah, they decided to go that way. Alright, so the tank is holding out here, but we don't want to push him forward. We'll just let him defend right there for now. Just in case they attack us again, because yeah, they're going to need some assistance here, guys. Alright, so looking good. That's just about wrapped up. Let's dip on back over to the Soviet front. Been a little while since we looked at it. I know it seems like it hasn't been very long. It's been like a day, but a lot of stuff happens in a one day. You have this much territory to, to get conquered. So I don't know if those two divisions are going to be enough. Uh, let's have this guy move straight over there to help him out. Get Minsk. And got two units going over that way. Probably overkill, of course, but that's fine. All right, he's moving over here. All right, that's good. Should be finishing that up. Somebody needs to wipe these divisions out before they get moved. But yeah, we don't have anybody to do it. Let this guy, you know, rest a little bit, get his organization back up, and then we'll see if we can't get something done there. Yeah, I'm glad we're going to the support here, because I think they're pumping divisions over there. Just overall, this is ugly right here, man. Real ugly. It'd be best if they just capitulated, honestly. Uh, yes, I did forget the trade for more fuel since we are clearly having issues. Uh, we're up to 28,000 casualties at this moment. Uh, looks like the Italians did the most so far. We're looking at France, so I'm going to see how close they are to capitulating. 80%, uh, 100,000 casualties. We did most of that. Uh, almost 79,000 there. Uh, so pretty good. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, figure out what's going on with the whale situation. Let's try and get some more here. And maybe one more. Or even two more. Just trying to improve it some. Yeah, that's still not enough. Our efficiency with uh, turning the oil into fuel is, is probably pretty low, it seems. We could also ask the Americans for lend lease for some oil. That'd be a one way to, to go about doing this. So let's request land lease and just see if they'll give us any oil. They would not. Okay. Uh, that's probably going to be the case with most, most countries. They don't typically like giving oil off. Because they're using it for themselves. They need it for themselves, so. Makes sense. Uh, we don't need all these units here to be on this front, so let's get them over to this one. And they make sure that everybody has planning bonuses still. And when they're sitting still, that at least they're doing something. They're getting a planning bonus. Oh, this guy coming on over to here. Grab that province. Yeah, I'm not sure how we want to go about doing this. Could grab this one, I suppose, and then come right back. Let's just make sure these guys are continuing pushing forward as well. We'll go here, and then go this way. And hopefully we don't have to fight anybody up on these mountains, because these tanks wouldn't do very well in that effort. Uh, we will delete this front here. I don't think that's necessary. Alright, so yeah, really clearing this up, so this is this is good, guys. Get this done. Actually, you know, let's put him onto this front. Any more divisions over there? As you can see, we don't have enough. Uh, did these guys ever finish training? One of them did. All right, so we have a couple different choices of where to send them. We can send them over here to the, the Red Front, or we can send them over to the Soviet Front. I'm more worried about the Soviet Front, so let's send them over there. Because, yeah, we are not moving fast enough. We do not have enough divisions. It's taking far too long to get little areas wrapped up. Soviets are getting way too much time uh, to bring units over here from the Eastern Front. And, uh, yeah, this is just taking too long. Uh, we need to move a lot faster. Well, we don't have enough units over here. I think that's the issue. It's a, it's a huge front, and we don't even have a full two armies. I guess technically when you add the tank units in there, then you have two full armies, but yeah, it's just it's not enough. Let's go and attack over here. They're about to take 
the, the port province now luckily they won't be able to move there as long as nobody's yeah that could be an issue what I think we're gonna do is pull this guy back and have him come over here and he can attack that way just to make sure we don't lose that that would be uh, quite bad uh, taking that port province there that's excellent this guy's just sitting here let's go and grab some more victory points with him so we can try and get these guys to capitulate we'll go all, all along the coast here and just try and get that capitulation forced all right these are mountain troops so they should do pretty pretty well in this area all right just getting all these little pockets wrapped up here it's looking good we got a tank unit can move right there so let's have them do that and just a lot of movement happening right now yeah a lot of movement on that front all right well, let's go and see we finally got leningrad good god that took forever <laughs> that was ridiculous how long it took for us to get that we were attacking cross the river so it made sense uh, let's have this guy go over here next. Oh, he's on no order, so we can't. Um, will we get there before him? Five hours? Probably not. Seven hours? Pretty close. We'll just wait. We'll wait. Uh, let's see if we can move our planes now that we've wrapped up some of these pockets. And we still need these guys here. Yeah, we still need them there. Uh, these ones here are not helping us, so let's move them. Probably down in the south, because it seems like that's where we're having the most issues. Uh, so let's move them here. Yeah, or you know what? We can move them here. Well, we might lose that since it's not very thick. Okay, we'll put them right here then. And then they have more close air support. Oh, these guys are not helping us. My bad. Uh, let's get them move over to close air support. They were doing the naval bombing, which means they weren't doing anything. So maybe that's one reason why we might have been having some issues here. I don't know. Might have been why it's going slower. I mean, uh, let's move these guys down. Yeah really short on the fighters overall I already pulled fighters from there I don't really want to pull any more from the channel but we need some planes here we'll we'll send uh we'll send these guys over here just to get some assistance uh, let me see if we can't put another air wing out there we have enough I feel to put one air wing so let's go ahead and do that uh, just get an air wing of, of fighters here and you know what? we'll just do these ones and then we'll have them slowly increase up to 200 it's fine all right, excellent. Just try and contend in every region. They at least need to put some fighters there in order to uh, have superiority. All right, so yeah, getting pretty messy here, guys. Clean this up. These guys are not cut off yet, so keep that in mind as well. They have not yet cut them off. Uh, what is this decision available? We can send more weapons off. Uh, we need to save that political power, so let's not do that. Because, yeah, we need to make some adjustments here. So we'll wait. Uh, so we have defeated those guys. They're now on the retreat. Uh, we got to get all this territory wrapped up here. And push them forward over there. Uh, that should have made a big dent in them uh, capitulating. So let's just take a peek, see where they're at right now. Uh, they're at 90%. Very close. Just not there. All right, let's let this play. You know what? This guy can push forward here. And... That unit has moved, so now we can start pushing forward again with this tank unit. Although, maybe it would be better to go this way and try and cut these guys off here. I'm pushing too fast with the, uh, the tanks and not, not cleaning things up enough. So yeah, let's go and continue pushing forward here and just kind of grabbing victory points of this tank unit. Alright, so he's coming over this way. Let's have him, again, just try and clean some stuff up. And then this guy's gonna come over this way. Start moving up along the coast here to move down here. Try and get all Crimea conquered there. Let me see if this one unit is done. He is excellent. Again, just need more units over here. And is that the right one? Yeah, that's the right one. All right, excellent. So let me just see where these unit here. Okay, so this is where the front is. All right, it's fine for right now, I suppose. We won't make any adjustments just yet. All right, so still pushing forward there. That might be enough to get the capitulation there. I don't know why this guy's leaving. Stay here, man. Yeah, a lot of moving over to this front is completely necessary. Stay here, guys. Yeah, everybody wants to come over to here. And yeah, I can have this tank unit deal with all, all that later. It's not that big of an issue. All right, let's move this guy over here because might lose there. 
And I already got a unit moving over there, so I won't do anything else. Let's move this guy over here while it's undefended. Alright, looking good. They're coming over here to stop us. I think we should be able to beat him there. Yeah, so he'll be fighting us. And make sure that he's assigned here. We'll let him finish defending before we do anything else there. Alright, looking good again. Just waiting for units to move. We finally wrapped that up. Good god, that took forever. That was another one that took a long time. They had a lot of units there. So I guess it's not surprising. Alright, he's pushing forward here. We'll have him keep doing that. And then we should have this guy start cleaning up here. Unfortunately, that is going to have to be the end of the episode, guys. I was going to try and get France defeated in this one. Uh, but yeah, we do have to, to end today's episode here. This is the world situation. But yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy today's episode. If you did, make sure you leave a like on it, subscribe to our channel, hit that notification bell, and leave a comment. I do hope to see you guys on the next episode. And uh, yes, we should ask Belgium, by the way, for control of territory. Uh, so let's go ahead and ask them for, for everything here. We did all the work here, so it's, it's rightfully ours anyways. Uh, they will not give us all of this because they deem themselves as worthy as having some of it, apparently. Or there's like one specific province they value. Yeah, they really want to keep uh, the Paris one. Alright, so we'll just ask them for those two for right now. And eventually we'll ask them for more later. Uh, so yeah, we did that there. Uh, but yeah, I hope to see you guys on the next episode. And thanks for watching.